Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bulldog 2500 pound ATV winch. Adding a winch onto your ATV is going to give you a lot of different options. Uh, maybe you like to go out for one with your friends and you found yourself stuck and you're dependent on somebody else to get you out. Having a winch on there is going to allow you to take your winch strap, run it around a tree, be able to pull yourself out or maybe you can pull one of your friends out. Maybe you use your four-wheeler around your farm and uh, you've come across big logs in some of your trails and you can't really move them by hand. Again, adding a winch on like this, you can wrap it around that tree, you can get it out of your path to make it a lot easier. This is what our winch looks like when it's installed. You can see it fits very nicely on the front of our ATV. This particular winch is going to have a three-stage planetary gear in it. And when you compare that to like a wormhole gear, a wormhole gear is just a single gear and it only goes one speed. Having the three-stage planetary gear allows your drum to move much faster. So whatever you're moving, maybe you're moving a tree or again, pulling yourself out, you're gonna be able to move a little bit quicker. It's gonna have an auto brake in it. So let's say we're on a steep hill. We have our uh, cable wrapped around a tree and obviously our vehicle's in neutral. We don't want our vehicle to start backing up on us. So it's gonna have an auto brake in it that once we have that connected, uh, it's not going to allow the vehicle to move any farther. The winch itself is going to be fully encased, so uh, the casing around it is not going to allow any water or anything to get inside and do any damage to any gears. It's going to have an auto uh, release or what they say a free spool, and it's a little lever over here on the side or a little knob on the side, which we'll show you here in a little bit. It allows you to pull the wire or pull the cable out freely so if we're wanting to wrap it around something we can just grab onto it pull it out get it wrapped around whatever we have lock it back into place and we're ready to go it's going to come with the Haas fair lead um, it's going to have rounded edges because this particular winch is going to come with a synthetic rope when you compare the synthetic rope to like the wired ropes uh, the wired ones tend to rust over time they splinter and even wearing gloves uh, those splinters can sometimes get through those gloves and they tear up your hands. Even if those wired ones get kinked, they don't spool up anymore. We don't have to worry about that with the synthetic rope. The synthetic rope is going to be 50 foot long, so we're going to have plenty of length to get out, pull it out, get it around a tree, get it around, you know, whatever we may be working with. It's also going to come with the hook and the strap so we don't have to actually grab onto the uh, synthetic rope itself. We can grab it right here on the strap to pull it out. This is going to be our knob for our uh, free spool. All we're going to do is we're going to turn it and that allows us again to pull out our synthetic rope without having to hit our button. Once we get out to where we want, lock it back in place and it locks the rope in. It's also going to come with a switch. The switch, you can use it in two different ways. You can use it how we have it here, where we have it mounted to the handlebars. It's gonna come with a handlebar mount, or it's gonna have an eight foot cable. Once it's connected to the uh, solenoid, you can take it and tuck it in somewhere, and you can use it while you're standing out away from the bike. It's really gonna be up to you and how you want to use it. It is going to be a momentary in and out switch. Now, this particular uh, kit does have to be wired to an ignition source which we have it wired directly to uh, one of the wires coming off of our ignition here. So that it only comes on when our key is in the on position. Now it is recommended, anytime you're winching something, you have your line out, have a line break on it. Even though this is a synthetic rope, we still don't want, if that happens to break, we don't want any of that rope coming back and hitting us. And you can see as soon as I let off the switch, got again the auto brake in it it's not going to let us roll anywhere now as far as a bracket that's mounting it to our vehicle uh, this is a custom bracket it's also by Bulldog it doesn't come with a winch however you can find it here e-trailer just by checking the fit guide for the bike that you have the bracket itself as I mentioned, it's gonna be custom fit, so we're not gonna to have to drill any holes or anything like that. It's gonna mount directly to factory holes that are already in the frame. As far as the installation process, uh, the winch and the bracket 
if you decide to go with the bracket, is going to come with all the necessary hardware to get them installed. The only trimming we had to do, and it was for this particular bike, is this small panel right here was still in there, so we had to cut it out in order to install the winch. That's going to do it for a look at the 2500 pound ATV winch by Bulldog.